I'm working on a toned board. I have given it a couple of coats of gesso. I'm drawing in with a very dilute mix of ultramarine and burnt umber just to get the sketch in. And I'm trying to pick out all the shadows at the moment. I'm looking for the darker colours. I've put in the base colour of the plums, looking for the darkest bit of them. And the shadows I've got in dark, I will lighten those later. I'm using permanent orange mixed with a bit of uh, umber for the darker tones on this little pumpkin. Just looking out for all the dark areas again. The permanent orange, by the way, is um, it's a Michael Harding paint. Looking out now at the lighter side of the figs and using the colour throughout the painting. I've used, again, it's a Michael Harding uh, King's Blue Light mixed with a bit of ultramarine. background again I've used King's Blue Light mixed with a small amount of ultramarine and a small again a little bit of uh, burnt umber to give a little grey tone. I'm cutting in around the flowers I could have put the lighter colour on first but decided to get the shape of the flowers first. I can cut into them, get a little bit more form later on. But just working the background, getting the board covered at the moment, picking out the shape of the pumpkin and the flowers. Time to start on the background. I've mixed uh, a white with a little bit of a warm yellow and I'm just getting that down, cutting in again around the shapes of the fruit.
The shadows are far too dark, so I'm just lightening those now. I might even lighten them again later. We'll see how we go. Of course, the danger is when you're lightening a shadow, you're going to pick up some of the white paint that's adjacent to it. I'm trying to lose that straight line in the background so that the background and the foreground blend together. Coming back to the pumpkin, I'm using the permanent orange again, but I've lightened it with a little bit of lemon yellow. Still looking for the shapes and picking out any highlights in a little while. It's quite a strong colour to use on its own. Just blending that in a bit there. You can see I'm using a fairly wide brush. I do tend to prefer a flat brush rather than a filbert or a round. You can always use the edge of the brush for details. Lightened it a bit more, a little bit more lemon yellow gone into the mix. I'm using a bright green here, but I've, I've knocked it back with a little bit of the King's Blue light and I'm lightening the um, edges with it. I've used a bit of white and I shall also use for to highlight it and lighten it more a little bit of the lemon yellow. Time to add a little bit of shadow now onto the flowers. They're white cosmos flowers, but the, the shadow colour I'm using again is it's King, uh, King's Blue Light mixed with a little bit of uh, ultramarine and white with a touch of alizarin. Not too much because I didn't want them to go purple. I've added a little bit of yellow into that mix just to warm it up a bit. The edges of these flowers are far too sharp at the moment. They will be softened later. But I shall add also a little bit of the um, lemon yellow into the white just to brighten up those flowers.
the vase has got too many marks on it it looked like a checkerboard so I've just scraped off the paint so that I can apply fresh paint over the top I'm picking out all the highlights at the moment I've now moved to a smaller brush as you can see I've put the centre in on the cosmos flower and putting in the stems again I'm using the uh, bright green but I've changed the tone of it by adding ultramarine I shall be lightening it up in a little while putting some of the lighter greens that I see in the vase Just softening around that yellow and putting a few highlights onto that. I'm really screwing my eyes up and looking at the subject to pick out any highlights and uh, lighter areas. To get the bloom on the figs I used uh, a bigger brush again with a light King's Blue Light and now I'm just tidying up around those flowers. The underpainting as you could see was pink and there was probably just a bit too much pink showing there and I want to soften those edges there. Nice. using that same blue again in, in the shadows. Um, it's giving more of a harmony to the picture. That's a better colour. more bloom on the figs. That shadow isn't quite right on that pumpkin. It blends in with the shadow of the vase. So I've just altered that slightly. Just a bit more cutting in blending in some of those shadows a few more highlights on the pumpkin I've used lemon yellow and white for that I didn't put any of the orange in there got a small brush in my hand I must be careful not to fiddle <laughs> the
there is quite a bit of um, when you look closely you can see some red I've used a little bit of alizarin crimson in my mix just to warm up those figs that's better I was losing the edge of that one it was too close in colour to the shadow behind it I think we just need to do a little bit of scratching out here. We can just shape up, bring out some of the white colour of the board by scratching away at this glass vase. Quite useful for making marks, a palette knife. Oh, I think we're almost there. <laughs> 